Hello, everyone. Happy Friday to all my sisters out there. I'm your girl, Arthur Erica, and I have my beautiful co-host, Arthur Kim, on with us today. And I'm so happy that everyone is doing good. I hope everyone is doing good because I'm doing good. And my good co-host, she's doing good. She's wonderful. And today... Today is just this um day open we conversation. Know. We just it's, it's just open conversation. <laughs> Cause yeah, I mean, what what happened was we was having this kind of like I you need to press record right now. Right. You we need to press record. This, we was having this conversation before mm -hmm. we started recording about family. Mm -hmm. Um, about God, about God, and it's mm -hmm. not the step on. Nobody told about God because I know that's a very sensitive subject for people. But what we was talking about is, and we got deep into it, a damn. You know, we do all these things, and I believe in God, and Kim believe in God. But yes. we were sitting now just wondering, like, we in our head, and mm -hmm. we don't hear. And I know a lot of Christians say, it's something, you know, it's going to be something now. But I often wonder what the lesson is when we go through these ups and downs that we go through in life. And, you know, we go to God. And as I was telling Kim just now, and I got into it, that I'm not perfect by no means necessary. I, I just put my best foot forward on everything that I do. And I pray you know, I pray in the morning, pray in the evening. I call God all during the day. And it's like, do you hear? Uh, is it, uh, do, is you listening? Like, you know, sometimes I, I, I start to feel like I put a voicemail. And it's not like I ask for calls. And that's not like I ask for money. It's not like I ask for none of these things. I ask for to get me through, give me peace in my heart, you know, like these are the things that I ask for, but it just feel like um He don't hear you. It don't no, it's no hearing. It's like mm -hmm. um why should I be why should why should I be the nice person? And why should why should I give a fuck about people when you being nice and you doing the things that God said, all right, be nice to people, love people, but in in turn you being nice and in turn, you get your ass kicked, you know. So it's like, dang, hey. y'all. Well, well, like, hey, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being nice. I'm doing this. I'm, I'm doing. You say honor thy mother, thy father. And guess what? Let me tell I you, I do, the, I do the world for my mama. And it's like the fight. And it's like the fight, 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 fight. And it's like you get tired. And for me, and if many of y'all have read the journey, I've been fighting all my dang on life. So when is this shit gonna come to ease? You know, mm -hmm. like even before the end of the year, before at the end of the year, you know, my mom was in the hospital. It's like, damn, I'm fighting again. You know, I'm mm -hmm. dealing with the situation with this with this backed up ass relationship, you know, and let's call it what it is. And I'm only going to be transparent with it. It's fucked up. So it's like. I'm giving my all and I'm giving my all and I'm praying, God, help me. You know, God, guide me. You know, God, help me with this. Like, I'm not understanding. And, I, and I'm just honest. I'm going to say, God, look, I don't understand this. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you're doing all these things, but you're still fighting. And the question Kim was like, what the lesson be? Like, where the lesson at? Mm -hmm. Is it mm -hmm. that we missing a lesson? Mm -hmm. Or we just... Mm -hmm. I, I, and me and my crazy head, I'm always listening for God to say something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm listening. Like, I hear you. I'm trying to hear you. I want to hear you because I, I need you. this clarification from you. So I'm listening and I'm trying to see if something is changing or something. I need to hear you because I'm not I'm not hearing you. I could, because I'm praying, I'm praying day in and day out. Um, you know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a mother, as, as, you know, a wife, as a business, as, as, you know, whatever I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm not doing people wrong. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And I'm still 
don't understand why I'm still fighting. Why am I still fighting? Exactly. And, and sisters, if y'all if y'all own this with us, like come in at the bottom and let us know. Yes. Like mm -hmm. you know, help us because we all in this together. And sometimes we deal with stuff. And in the moment right now, you know, I honestly, I honestly say, and I'm just, I be, I'm gonna be transparent because that's what I want to be this year. Like, mm -hmm. I often wonder why are my relationships so so fucked up when I'm not a fucked up ass person. Mm -hmm. I'm giving my all. I'm being supportive. I'm being the girl that don't jug you on your ass about everything. I'm being mm -hmm. understanding. I'm being supportive. But in, a in, in return, I can't get that back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the question is, should I be that fucked up ass girl that don't give a fuck about you? Uh, don't give a fuck about what you got going on and just run me my money and you just get the fuck. You know, like, mm -hmm. do you allow people to make you feel like that? Because that's just the way I've been feeling. And that's mm -hmm. all honestly, because I'm to the point where now, you know, fuck being nice. Right. And I'm only going to give you the real. Like, I'm tired of being nice because I feel like I'm nice. I feel like I give a lot. And just like, I, I don't care he here, but... Fuck, I done been very understanding, very understanding, very everything. I done fall back in a gap. And when I really needed you, you Come showed on. you sure didn't you sure didn't fuck up. So do I be the fucked up ass person? Or what? You know, mm -hmm. and that's a that's a battle that I that honestly that I've been battling with. with. But mm -hmm. should I keep being nice or just fuck be like all the rest of them? Fuck. You know, if you ain't been offending me off the back, like some girls, if you ain't been offending me off the back, you got to fucking go. Right. Which I totally get that, you know. But I, I personally think that um, you shouldn't change who you are because that's who you are. I mean, God made you to be you, your own self. Like, I'm my own self, you know. But don't change because, you know, this... This person came, don't know how to treat somebody. So that's not your fault. You 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 saw it. Okay, I'm gonna dibble with it a little bit because you know sometimes people go through things. So I'm gonna try to work with you through it. But when I see that you're using and abusing me, okay, so it's time for me to go. It's because you're not giving me what I need. Because at the end of the day, I still gotta take care of me. Right. And I'm but gonna take you, care of me. But then you step back and you be like. And for me, it's like, okay, well, in the Bible, they say, go to God with your problems. All right, God, what do I do with this? Like, yeah. how, yeah. where I yeah. go with this? Like, yeah. should I walk away from this? And and it's not that I don't believe. By, yeah. all, by all means, understand, I do believe and I do pray. I pray in mm -hmm. the morning, pray at night, and all during the day, I'm calling God's name. All and the time. I'm, all the time, but you feel like you're not it, being heard. Is I'm not am I not being heard or, or hell I'm missing it? Mm -hmm. Or is it or like he do show up when you really need him? Mm -hmm. And that's you know, I've had honestly, I've had this conversation with a survivor who really really is. And she herself started questioning because she's like, I don't understand. If I'm sitting up here, she said, I do everything that I'm supposed to do, but I didn't ask. You know, I didn't ask to be beat. I didn't ask for that. Um, I didn't ask for him to cheat. I didn't ask for that. Were there signs? There could have been. But when you are, when you have a busy household, you are, you know, your mother, you know, you're, you go to work, you work, you know, regular nine to five, like everybody else, your kids are in different activities, you know what I'm saying? Um, but when he's like laying me out and I'm praying to God to just stop while he's not hearing me. So then I'm starting to question. So why am I here? What lesson am I supposed to learn, learn from, from the situation? He from him whipping my ass. Like I don't understand that. 
like make make it make sense and i was like i can't so then i'm starting to question my religion because i didn't deserve none of that i didn't deserve to get beat i didn't deserve to get raped if i'm doing everything that i'm so what did i do wrong in my life to where that happened to me and 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 i can't answer that because first of all i can't tell you to go to psalms nobody in genesis nobody because i don't know that I, I don't know i can't answer that question because I, I i honestly i struggle with that you know <clears throat> myself you know um just a lot of stuff that i didn't ask for that but somehow we got it and now here we are and i mean everybody says what's well, supposed to make you stronger but god damn it i'm tired of being strong I'm, I'm t- it's like um i i feel like you just um sometimes i feel like you get beat down or you get mm-hmm. punished from being such a, a strong woman like you get you get punished by dudes because you strong like mm-hmm. they they um they tend to fuck over you when you strong mm-hmm. and that's not mm-hmm. fair when you got a motherfucker that don't do nothing, they respect them to the highest. But when you got somebody that's strong that know how to stand on her own too and know how to go get it and do things and be respectful, you have no respect for her. You treat Come her on. like shit. Come so on. it's like, you know, and 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 I'm a, and keep it real, like I just I often wonder why. Mm-hmm. Why am mm-hmm. why I have to be the strong person mm-hmm. and, and, and I'm being screwed? So, you know, why do we have to be the always be the strong person? Right. Like it just I don't know. I I, I ask that question all the time. It's like mm-hmm. why I gotta be the strong person? Why at some point I could be like some people and not give a fuck? Mm-hmm. And and that's that's the crazy part because that's not who you are. You know, you you are a you know loving and nurturing type of person, and you know you want the best for any and everybody. You know, um, you'll give you know the shirt off your back, but then you know when it comes to your own personal life, you know, husband or wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, um, it's it's just something completely different. And you don't understand, like, well, what did I do? You know, what what did I do to you for you to treat me the way that you're treating me? Like, it just doesn't make sense. And, you know, why is it that, you know, we have this whole economy the way that it is and we're preying on, you know, the rich is steady getting richer and the poor is just getting more poor and poor. And, you know, there's no help, there's no assistance, you know, there's no, you know, unemployment is running out and, you know, X, Y, and Z. And then it's like, I, cause I get it. I get it. I mean, I, I get it. I'm, I, let me just stand in my truth a little bit. I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. I am struggling. You wouldn't know because, you know, I want to smile on your it. face. Right. Exactly. And then when you're, I'm not a public figure, but when you out here, you got to, and you're dying on the inside. You know what I'm saying? No, nobody knows what your struggle is. They don't. You know, I don't go around and tell people, well, I'm blind. I don't walk around and tell people that. For what? Because right. for, for what? What's it gonna do? Is it gonna change something? You're gonna treat me okay. better? That's not gonna happen. So it might treat me worse. Because you're gonna try to get over on me because this bitch black. Right. <laughs> you know, and that's 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 like you know, we stand in our truth even down to me with relationships. Like, mm-hmm. I haven't had a good relationship and got articulate the love in about four years since I separated from my last boyfriend and everything else just been bullshit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I sat back and I'm like, damn, why? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not. I'm not running. A, I'm not running a street. I'm not at every club. I'm not. Don't give a fuck. I'm hustling. I'm trying to do better for myself. I'm trying to make things happen for myself. But then in the end, you get a you get in a relationship, and we don't like. I'm gonna talk about my last situation, which that shit duh is crazy. Like, 
I'm I'm supportive of you. And out of six months, six, seven months, I sent you one time. And you are and, and I'm I'm being understanding because you you got your shit going on and everything together. And it's like you call me, but you never show up. Uh I'll be there in two hours, but you never fucking show up. Mm-hmm. But then when I say something about it, you tripping. Are you in your feelings? Okay, okay, maybe I'm in my feelings, you know, and that's maybe and I'm always because I'm so hard at times. I'm okay, maybe I am in my feelings. Maybe I'm gonna fall back. And mm-hmm. maybe and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna pray about it. And I'm gonna pray about it. And it's like, okay. You heard my did 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 my aunt did I get answered? But then in turn, you text me, I love you. I miss you. Hmm. And it's like, what? How the fuck you love me? How the fuck you? Because, like, you seen me one time in six months. You can't. What do you miss? What do you missing? What do you you claim that you're missing? Because if you were missing something. You'll make something happen. Come on. So when you start being rebellious about shit, you know, and at some point, I get get in my mode to where... You don't fucking miss me. You don't fucking love me because you, if you did, you'll make a way. Don't mm-hmm. fucking call me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why I get that. So it's like you being mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is where the Erica come in that now I'm like, damn, Erica, you just being hard. Because mm-hmm. I can go in hard like that sometimes. Mm-hmm. And then I try not to hurt people's feelings. But in turn, my fucking feelings being stepped on. Mm-hmm. But I'm still wor- and at the end of the day, I'm still worrying about, well, I don't want to be that person because that's not God, who God want me to be. God right. wants me to love. So now I'm like retracting back or saying, fuck. I don't mm-hmm. hurt people. You know, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but but in the end, my feelings being trampled on. But then in turn, you hit me with, I love you, but I think you're only telling me that to keep me from being mad. So I shut because, up. Mm-hmm. Right. Because you don't want me to be mad with you. Mm-hmm. And it comes to the situation at the end of the year when I really needed you. Mm-hmm. It's where really shit starts showing what you really is. Mm-hmm. When I really needed you, you wasn't there for me. Mm-hmm. So now, I'm, now I got to pop off on you and I got to pray about it because I, I done said some shit to you. And mm-hmm. God, God done convict me on it. And I, I'm now I'm feeling like, damn, you know, I shouldn't have did that. But all I have to say is I've been sent back being supportive of you on your shit. But when the support needed on my end, I'm looking for you in the daytime with a candlestick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. I used to back like, you know, I'm sat back and I'm like, damn, like, why am I going through this? Like, mm-hmm. I try to be nice. I, 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 I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to be nice and I'm being nice and I'm being understanding. And then it's like, you, do you give a fuck? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Right. I get that. I, I totally get that. Right. And, and it's like you praying about it and praying about it. What lesson I learned? Mm-hmm. Or did I even get an answer? And that's why that's the that's the thing that in and even in church, I talk to the pastor about like I just don't hear. And mm-hmm. it's because I'm a person that I need to hear it or I need to feel it or I need to touch it. Cause that's mm-hmm. that's who I am, right? And it might be there, but I just don't see it. Or I just don't feel it. Mm-hmm. And I know y'all mm-hmm. sisters. I know some of y'all sit down and go through the same thing. You know, tell us about it because not only y'all feeling it, me, me and Kim feeling it. We go through yeah. things. We human. We go through things. We human. And we ask them. Like Kim said, what's the lesson in each situation that we go through? What's the lesson? Maybe did we miss it? Or is are we not studying our Bibles a little bit? 
What's the deal? You know, like, come on now, sisters, let's let's all talk about this. This is a situation that we all that we all are feeling in one way or another, even if it's a relationship, personal, financial, whatever. Mm -hmm. I know you mm -hmm. sat down thinking about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Absolutely. Because we can always dig, girl, because this conversation can keep going and keep going and keep going. Girl. It is because it's every, we ever we all dealing with the same thing, but just, just in right. different ways. Right. That is true. That is that is true. And it which is, you know, it's it's crazy. Where even though we don't know each other, but then we can speak the same language. And that's what a sisterhood come together because yeah, I, don't I, was, know you. Um, I, was, I don't know you right but we got and something in common we got something in common and we have more in common with a lot of people the thing with that is you know you just kind of you know some people just girl whatever so now you're, you're better we the same we the same you put your drawers on the way i put my drawers out what's the difference might be different color <laughs> But what's what's up with the state guy? Like, hey, how you doing, no bro? Oh, girl, whatever. <laughs> we just we, look. We just gonna keep praying on it. That's all we can do. Just keep praying on it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. sisters, let's talk about it. Tell us in the comment if you yes. have ever come to that point where you thinking, what's the lesson? And what's the lesson? Saying? Yes. Well, God is God answering my questions, and I know He probably mm -hmm. all answering our questions. And then it's like, you know, it's a lot. It is. But it is. you find yourself, you know, saying, I want to I want to be this kind of person. I don't want to be this person no more. Right. So let's right. talk about it. Talk about it. Talk yep. about these feelings that we feeling, even down to these down family members we got. Girl. <laughs> Girl. You know, I used to hear people say, um, your family are the worst people. Facts. And I used to be like, no, you know, they're the ones that love you. They're the ones that support you. They're the ones that have your back. <laughs> <That's a lie. laughs> they're the ones that have your back. They're the ones. Lie. They're the ones do Don't everything. <laughs> they throw you under the bus and, and look and drive the bus as they throw you under the bus. Okay. Uh, so mm -hmm. I used to be that kind of person too when I got older. Mm -hmm. And when I started taking care of my mama, um, oh Jesus. You got you got the messy ones, you got the ones that you know, they thugs, and you got the holy rollers, as my mom used to call them, holy rollers, and then you got the no. ones whose name is... What she called them? Oh, God, the holy rollers, you know, and then you got the ones that, you know, uh, just, they name is in everybody's mouth, because they're talking about you, and all the girl, you don't go sit down, Susie, go sit down. I'm sorry, it's ain't Susie, it's, it's uh, what, what would her name be? Uh, Betty. Betty. Betty, go sit down, Hey, Which people better keeping up all the shit. <laughs> all of it. You hear me? Get out the phone with you. Call the next girl. Just you in here. Oh what else God, just got done saying? This story changed said. 15 times. Well, ain't Betty. <laughs> girl, Joanne said. Girl. <laughs> and girl, Joanne, son. <laughs> that ain't what nothing. What the? What did you talk about? That ain't what well, I said. Wait. But wait, ain't Betty talking about everybody and her shit so fucked up. Her son robbing and killing everybody. Everybody. But we ain't talking about that. We gonna talk about your shit. Don't we talk gonna about talk my about, shit. Um, my sister Joanne, she sitting over there knowing that son. <laughs> ain't no good over there. You know he just got done robbing Clarence down the street. What? What's your fucking oh. son? Your son. Betty's Ooh. son sitting there robbing Tom, Dick, and Harry and bringing all the stolen goods to your house. Yo, to your house. Talking about get this out for me. Because <laughs> they ain't going to put no old lady in jail. They, throw your, they lock your ass up first. What is you talking about? Lord, let me tell you, it's family. and um, It is. 
crazy. It's I'll crazy. Know. It's mm-hmm. crazy because my family didn't support me with my mama. They didn't help me. Mm-hmm. It's so funny the people on the outside fucking did more. Okay. The people on the outside did more help mm-hmm. than family does. And I'm not going to say all of my family. It was one of my aunties. All rest her soul now. My auntie was blind. And when my mama stopped walking, she came over and she blind. I'm going to say it again. She blind. And um, she would do, help me do things or come mm-hmm. over and do this, you know, and mm-hmm. help my mama, you know, and you can't help Maria because you can't see. But that was bullshit mm-hmm. because I said, I feel. We all, right, we laugh all the time because. I, I said, oh, I told her, I said, Auntie Vicky, I'm going to cook a gumbo. And she was like, oh, girl, yeah. And this was a weekend, right? And <laughs> Maria, Alla, Erica, don't fix that gumbo if you, you know, like I said, well, mom, just roll your wheelchair in the kitchen, right? And she's, Marie, sit your ass down because I know how to cook this gumbo. Girl, when she told me I was making a root, if all y'all, if any of y'all know New Orleans, we have gumbo, right? So you have to make a root, right? With flowering, flowering, you know, flowering water, whatever. Girl, I made that root, and Vicky is legally blind. Vicky told me, girl, that root, that that um gravy not brown enough. How the fuck you know that gravy ain't brown? And you blind. Girl, don't do it. She had a story that goddamn pot a little more. It ain't it ain't brown enough. I was like, well, how you know this root ain't brown enough? Girl, store it. Come on, give me that. And she took that spoon out of my hand and she stored that pot and that root was brown. Because you have to. It, she <laughs> she knows how many rounds it takes and you didn't do it. enough. That's how I know. Don't, don't sit up because I can't see shit now. But it's just... Let me look. count some more. Okay, now go <laughs> I know it takes uh, thir- 13 stars or 10 Come stars on. to get it <laughs> <clears throat> but it's just a fact, like, you have that one person in your family that really helped. And mm-hmm. even though she was blind, she still came over. She didn't let that affect her. Mm-hmm. Help me, you know, mm-hmm. when everybody mm-hmm. else, you chilling. And when she died, it was like, oh, Lord. that's when you go into mourning. Because, you know, then, you know, the one, the only one that will help you is now gone. So what the hell am I about to do now? I'm yeah, about to honestly. go through the tr- yeah. the trenches yeah. because yeah. and and you go and you're gonna go by yourself because then you have to look on the outside because you already know well since she's gone now the rest of these people yeah I ain't shit so let me just go on over here outside, like the- <sighs> and well, find some know, help because I'm gonna need it. It's you know and I used to say that I'm like no not your family and you know I I experienced it like. Your family don't. I don't care how much you cry out for help. They don't help. You know. Um, mm-hmm. I, re- I and you know it, it aggravates me. And mm-hmm. um, even with my mom, a recent situation. Um, I do have a brother. That's 13 years older than me. And I got to the point at the end of December, like, it just was too much. It was mm-hmm. much too much for me. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to take care of yourself, you know, and self-love is, you got to mm-hmm. ask for help. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I ask for help. And I, at some point, I feel like asking for help went to the hell in the handbasket. Because I asked for help and I called my brother and my brother told me that he was human and that he um he had his own life to live. Let it out. And it was basically like fuck my life. 
and that you gotta do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was so unfair because as it is, it is because at the end of the day, you're supposed to help me with my mom Mm -hmm. because it's your mother too. Exactly. So it was like you know, and that's why you kick in and you like. God, what is this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This not no stranger. This not nobody who out on the street. Mm-hmm. This somebody that I lay and sleep in a bed with. Mm-hmm. Told me basically like I'm not gonna stop my life to help you. Mm-hmm. And basically, I had to go out to somebody else to get help. And even though at the end of the day, my mama ended up in the hospital and I, and, and I felt like a lot of it was my fault because I asked for help. And I had to really sit down and think about it. Like, it wasn't it's not your fault. fault. It's not. You I did the right thing. My, you right, asked to, for help. Right. I had to take care of myself to ask for help, you know. Right. And you think about, like, this is supposed to be your family that... You asking for help. This not only my family, this my brother. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just crazy because even asking for help and my mama go to the hospital, it's like you concerned. And we could have mm-hmm. not, my mama could have not been in the hospital sitting there all that time when she could have been at her house sitting and waiting mm-hmm. in, the, in the damn hospital and you sit down you praying and I pray more and I pray more I was praying more than anything and crying because at the end of the day it's like <sighs> when the break gonna come Mm-hmm. Yeah. I stopped my job. I stopped. I quit my job after 14 years to make sure my mama was good and not have to pick a dollar over my mama. You know, I sacrificed that. And at the end of the day, don't get me wrong, I do it again. But at the same time, you look for family to help you. But all family could do is sit down and be like, "Oh, well, you should have been did this, or you should have been did that." Or they crucify you because you choose to drop a book here and you choose to drop a podcast here and you choose to do things on social media and in the world to better yourself to do stuff that they want to say you better than them. So I'm not going to help you. And that's how I feel that they they feel. Mm -hmm. No, I do. I do those things because. I want my mama to have a better situation. I want my mama to live better than what she's living. And I want my mama to have everything because that's what my mama gave me. Mm-hmm. But it, then in turn, when you ask a family for to do something, it's like they're looking at you. Right. But then, but then when they ass jugged up in the jam. Here they come. Girl, cousin, sister. This is what had happened. Can you help me, girl? But when I when I needed help, where was you? Because I called you, texted you, asked you. Oh, I can't do it right now. Oh, okay. But now you need something from me. Oh, okay. And I'm supposed to stop what I'm doing to cater. Nah. But then uh, but then in turn, you know, you have your other family. Oh, well, that is your brother, that is your sister. You shouldn't do that because you'll help the outside people. Yes, because the outside people help me. Don't give me that guilt trip because I choose not to do. Facts. Because when I called him, where was he at? Exactly. Then lying. Would you laugh for? Make yourself look good? Boy, bye. Yes. And I'm sorry, y'all. Like, that's just a sensitive subject, and I'm not going to lie, I'm working on it because. It's hurtful when you hear somebody that's supposed to be your family tell you that they're human and that they ain't got time. Mm-hmm. So you just made me feel less human. Mm-hmm. That's why it all kind of ties in together on the conversation about God and family. 
because it all ties in together because you you you're you're doing the praying you're asking for the forgiveness you're asking for the guidance and you're asking for the strength to take care you help you take care of your mother and then okay let me come down some because you know maybe you was up here maybe that's what they thought and then now you asking for some help and now i'm getting everything but the right answer and i don't understand why i'm not getting the right answer you know you're supposed to be over here helping me because you know this is our mother you know our, our mother is declining and i'm trying to make sure that our mother you know don't decline no farther facts. and then you know you come in with this old okie doke bs and i don't have time for it so you know yeah and and it's sad that you have to go outside but then that's how you know who was for you and who was against you. But they don't have a problem with coming and asking you for no money, though. I know I just said that, but I, that's not what I was saying. Well, what was you saying? Because that's what I got out of it. Exactly. Now, that you need, that. now that you need me, because now you need me. Well, I, I just need a few dollars to get me to. I ain't got nothing for you. Because when I needed help with our mother, you couldn't help me. So I can't help you. And it's not a tip for tat. It's just you no, I just it. know. I'm just gonna put you where you put me and that and you don't like it. And whose fault is that? Yours, because you did this shit. I didn't. Cause am I supposed you to the, keep bending but down? You say no, oh, you the bad person. Mm-hmm. You know, but but you're not the bad person. You made me feel like X, Y, and Z, you know. Mm -hmm. So why you can't feel it? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, you know, it comes back to you praying. Like, God, uh, what mm -hmm. I did, what I missed. Like, mm -hmm. it is, it's, it's that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's family. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... And that's my spell, you know, like we all deal with families. We all deal with our family in one way or another. I wish I can pick my family, but then, you know, hell, would that be fun? Because, <laughs> you, you know, the crazy part about it is I was actually having that conversation with somebody else, you know, picking uh family and what you see on the outside you be like well you know let, let's keep let's let's call it call it what it is i see you know this pretty woman who you know has this lifestyle or portraying a lifestyle you know and i would like to achieve that myself one day i want to be and you know an entrepreneur and i want to be you know have a million dollars and i want to drive the car that of my dreams and i want to have the house of my dreams I want all that, but not knowing what it took to get there. Not not necessarily, you know, the whole the education, and all that. You don't know what's behind. You don't know what happened behind closed doors. You don't know who she didn't. It just ain't gonna sound right. Who she didn't suck and fuck. <clears throat> See, sorry, but I mean, I'm just saying. You know, to get to where she is, Josh, and I'm not. We, a, we Josh free zone. We talk about everything. Like it is what it is. Just saying, I. You know, I. We don't know what she did to get there. We don't know what's inside her family, inside the home. Because when you once inside the home, you don't know that she was being raped by her father. You don't know that her mother was getting, you know, beat by her, you know, boyfriend. You don't know because you know, killed. in the black community, we don't talk about that shit. Whatever happens at home stays at home. Right, don't talk so about what, what goes on in my house and go bring that shit outside. Which you ain't about to do because I'm going to fuck you up. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you getting abused by your mama when you start talking shit out of her house. Right, so don't do it. So it's so it's like, you know, trying to, you know, oh, I would like to, no, you don't know what they didn't dealt with. You don't know what, you don't know what their walk is. You don't know what it took for them to get there. You know, you don't, you, I just know that I want to be me. I want to be successful. I'm not asking to be no trillionaire. I just want to be able to live comfortably. A thousandaire. <laughs> because I'm, I'm a dollarnaire right now. I'm a dollarnaire. That's where I'm at right now. Okay, I'm a dollarnaire. So a thousandaire will be great for now. Right. <laughs> Still a dollar. Um, 
I'm not there yet. I'm not a thousand. There. I'm a thousand. There. I'm a dollar now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm trying to get there. But, you know, we all want to have, you know, I just want to be comfortable. That's all I'm asking for. I just want to be comfortable. I want to have, you know, of course, my health is not going to be A1, but I want to be able to where I can function, you know, without, you know, having too much help. I want to be able to, you know, like I said, have, well, I might not be able to drive. But anyway, that's all I stuff. But just have, you know, have a car, be able to be comfortable, have, you know, go in the refrigerator, open up and get, oh, yeah, I get any snacks that I want. You know what I mean? So, you know, and that's saying, you know, I'm not going nowhere during this pandemic. So I, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm not going nowhere. So, uh, you know, maybe when, when all that goes away, maybe I can go see some blue water. That'll be, but, um, that'll be great. Yeah, but until then, uh -uh, I just want to be, you know, I just want to be able to serve my community the way it needs to be served. You know, and it's sad that you have to do shit that you shouldn't have to do just to get there you know all we'll help you what you what that take what's what, what's inclined in that what what, what we got to do because if well i need to touch my toes <laughs> i ain't touching no toes because see when you touch toes and you bent over see things you got you got things that's open you know that's we ain't doing that mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> something bending over touch your toes something might happen thank you <laughs> my, my booty say do not you know girl okay anyway that's all. <laughs> sorry sorry, sorry. <laughs> no answer <laughs> the role is closed yeah dead in <laughs> turn around okay <laughs> But it's just crazy, like, you know, that's just like people want to live like the Joneses. You know, mm -mm. But, yeah, that's it. that used to be the saying back in the day. Yeah, that used to be the saying. Yeah. Yeah, I want to yeah. live like the Joneses. Oh. Uh huh. But you don't know what the Joneses have been through. Yeah, you don't know what Mrs. Jones got to go through to look mm -hmm. good. Because, mm -hmm. you know, as women, we, um, mm. We cry at night and in the morning we get up and put our makeup on mm -hmm. and we're looking good like everything is okay. Mm -hmm. So you just don't know how many times Mrs. Jones cried. And that's where it comes to like we shouldn't think about picking our family. We shouldn't think about living like the Joneses. We should think about just living and taking and playing with the seven cards that we was dealt with. And yes, some of us was there, <laughs> some hard seven cards. Mm -hmm. But you make the best out of those seven cards. And it like it you go through ups and downs. Like mm -hmm. I come from two parents back. I come from two parents. My mom and daddy they, they didn't fight. They had their arguments like any married couple did, but you go through things. But then mm -hmm. you, know, you got Little um, little Marie, she over there going through hell and back with her seven cards, mm -hmm. and she just trying to make it every day. Mm -hmm. So we just never know what's going on and what people dealing with. So before we start mm -hmm. asking, before we start asking the some fucking swap families, let's fall mm -hmm. back and look at and make do with what you have because yes, you just exactly. never. Never mm -hmm. know what people going through, and we go through things mm -hmm. in life like we deal with things. Mm -hmm. But let's let's mm -hmm. let's just not give up, and it comes back to let's not make people change who we are. And I deal with that, you know, honestly, mm -hmm. I deal with that because it's like, why I gotta be nice, and I gotta mm -hmm. fight. why I gotta be nice, and I gotta fight for everything. But mm -hmm. then I'm looking at Sue over there. Mm -hmm. she popping it mm -hmm. off like she she got a relationship she got a boyfriend like everything mm -hmm. cool he's supporting her da 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 but then mm -hmm. you gotta think about when the lights and the doors go when the lights go down and the doors close you don't know what the fuck she got going on over there X X yes ma'am yes so, ma'am <laughs> so, 
So it's a lot. Yeah, we go through things. We we really do go through situations. We we really that's called life experience. And we go through that and we make the best of it. Yeah, I I went mm -hmm. through that with my brother. But in the end, I have to forgive him. I have to forgive him. And the forgiveness not for him. The forgiveness yeah. is more of me. Because I can't mm -hmm. allow that to 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 keep holding it on to me. Or him mm -hmm. keep having that kind of control over me. Because nobody have that kind of control. We're not supposed to allow nobody to have mm -hmm. that type of control over us at all. Facts. So it get heaven. It get heaven at time. Heaven at times, but yes, deal with him. Mm -hmm. So what you thinking, my beautiful co-host sitting over there? I agree. I agree with all that. You know, we 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 just gonna have to. You know, I'm not gonna give up on prayer. We just gonna have to keep continuing to pray. And ask him for the strength and the guidance and, you know, show us what needs to be shown so we can hopefully hear what you're saying. So then we can adjust to what you're saying. So then we can move on with our lives. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So that's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yes. And I mean, even if that time, you know, and what I find myself doing is just having quiet moments, you know, even yeah, if yeah. in my room with the door shut, quiet, because mm -hmm. maybe I could hear something. I don't know, I'm mm -hmm. crazy. I'll be like, I, I'm like, so God going to really say something? Like, I'm listening, like, because mm -hmm. I want to hear. I want to hear, like yeah. I want to hear that sound, you know, like, you know, if it's nothing but a moment, just, I think if it's just a, mm, just a, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could get up and go, but I'm still going to keep believing mm -hmm. and keep praying and, and believing and leaning on him because he opened my eyes every day. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm, 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 I'm going to take that as thank you. You thank you. That. You know, yes. thank you. Thank you know, mm -hmm. I listen to the Marvin Sapp song all the time. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the ups and downs and the good and bad the tears and everything. You that's the that's Marvin Stop new song. Oh, can we say because I'm thinking yeah, what song is it? I thank you for it all. It's on the best. Oh. Okay, well I'm, I'm gonna go peep that out because I ain't heard that one. Yeah, that's new. He just made that one when he I think he moved to Texas actually. He did. He did not too long ago. Yeah, yeah he, right. he said he got up at fifty and just moved. I was like <laughs> so Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. we Indeed. even though we we look for those we look for those signs, let's just be thankful for it all. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's ugly, and whether he woke you bad, up. He woke us up this day. Or another day. Right, because somebody didn't wake up. Into that. So let's just take it as he heard our prayer. And he said, here, he'll go another day and open our eyes. Mm -hmm. and let's, right. just, let's just be thankful that Amen. we open our eyes. Even though sure crying, sometimes tears, that crying, it clears out. Clears out it do. Soul. It do. It, it do. makes it feel it, good. Oh, girl, <laughs> yes, it does. When it just, because it's like a release. You know, you you let it all out and you just like let it go. Just let it go. Because I know it's cleansing my soul and just let it go. And the girl, who don't let me? Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Girl, I was just saying this. That's how you let it go. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> just let it go. Mm -hmm. But that, it's okay to cry. It's really yeah. okay to cry because mm -hmm. we hold too much in anyway. So we try to be as, as, as they expect us women, mm -hmm. we're not supposed to cry. We're not supposed to complain. We're just supposed mm -hmm. to get up. Just do. Mm -hmm. And just do. Mm -hmm. And be great. Yeah. We could do that, but what the hell, we still have some of that happiness on us. Yeah. Yeah. We got to let that go. So let, let it go. Let, let it go. go. Nah, sorry, that's my rendition of it. Sorry. Excuse me. I don't have issues. It's okay. So, 
that's how I spill for this Friday evening. I know it's different, y'all. Like this, this is this is what we was thinking. Like this is what we was having this conversation. We just gonna go with yep. it, and yep. this is what we want to bring to y'all ladies on this platform that we can talk about any and everything and be open. And open. open. It's not that we um we not believers. We are believers. Sometimes you yes. have these thoughts of, hey, did God hear my prayer? Did God, mm -hmm. you know, is God working uh, working? But mm -hmm. and maybe he is working by giving us opening our eyes. So mm -hmm. you know, sisters, if y'all have any comments on anything that we talk about, put it in the comment. We could talk about it. Let's let's open, let's openly talk about it because mm -hmm. this, this platform is about openly talking Man. about all of the situations that we face on a day-to-day -day basis and every day is a new day and especially when we have the pandemic going on because all of us sat down in this crunch mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. of us living day by day and we need yep. to just love each other and support one another you know um be there for one another because we all need that person to be there and that's why it's so important that we bring sisterhood and make sisterhood stronger because we need that yeah. one person that can call us and say hey are you okay right because we need that we need that one mm -hmm. person to say i'm okay uh, hi, hey how you doing right because if somebody out there right now as we speak don't have that one person to say hey mm -hmm. sis are you okay but guess what? Me and Kim gonna ask you, hey sis, are you okay? You, if you listen what you doing that, over there, girl? You all right? Okay. Sorry. So, let's keep your head up. Um, let's get through it all and let's um, love and take care of one another. You have anything? Uh uh. No, no we're not doing it. Look, I look like arthritis fingers, girl. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Leave my arthritis. You know I'm old. Leave, leave long. <laughs> well, I get okay. I my arthritis in the finger. I was, I was trying. You know, it's uh, so hard. In it. I think. <laughs> I don't. It, it just looks. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Okay, never mind. Like the incredible hog fingers. <laughs> don't oh. judge me. Okay, don't judge me. Sorry. Oh, no. okay. You have anything before we close? <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm good. I want y'all to have a fabulous weekend, girl. Yeah, you know, and boy. Have a fabulous weekend. You know, if you need anything, you know, all the information is in the description below. So if you need something, you know, just reach out to us because girl, we got you. Oh boy. I know I people, individuals, everybody. I keep saying girl, and it's not just for girls, it's for everybody. So, excuse me. I'm going to work on my terminology. So, sorry. Um, sorry. I just want to say just keep praying. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Keep believing. And, you know, know that you're not alone. We're here with you. We're going to get through these ups and downs together. And in the end, we all gonna come out better and we all gonna have a story to tell. So I'm your girl Hello. author Erica and I have my co-host oh, Arthur Kim being Hi. fabulous over there. So happy Friday, have a great weekend and <laughs> do something today to love yourself and love the people around you. Peace. Maybe not really to love people around you, but just love yourself. Stop with that first. Sorry. Right.